Hey guys, this is Tyler Zombro with Tread Athletics, and today I want to talk about cutters and inflection points with this pitch. So cutters are something um, a little more undiscovered. You know, oftentimes we're trying to find this pitch to merge between a four seam, a slider, a curveball, and kind of bridge that gap. Um, certainly they can possess unique qualities. Some guys have more glove side on it than others. I think one of the most fascinating things with cutters are guys who can still keep a certain component of backspin to the pitch and induce some carry with it, while other guys create a bit more depth. So like Kenley Jansen jumps to mind, you've seen him get misses uh, with the barrel underneath, him throwing that pitch up in the zone, a really unique profile. And then, you know, a guy like Mariano Rivera, you know, his might have profiled a little bit differently. So a really unique pitch, uh, again, kind of arbitrary with how it's labeled, but Overall, something cool to look at, and I think a cutter is really a pitch that a lot of guys can throw and certainly add to the arsenal. So going through the inflection points here, again, whiff rate being this red line here, we want to see that above average, the blue line being WOBA, we'd like to see that get below average, uh, and we're going to move through each category here to see how cutters profile best. So first, looking at velocity, uh, I think really this is, this is the graph for me that jumps out basically saying if you are not going to throw a cutter over 84 85 miles an hour really not much point to do it so regardless of the movement you can see whiff rate just go right down the drain here uh, you've got to be throwing this pitch hard you know cutters are technically identified as fastballs so velocity needs to be high with this pitch you're not going to get a ton of outlier movement so the velocity has to be high you can see once you're getting to 90 miles an hour that whiff rate going up and even more so woba going down so you are inducing weaker contact but again you have to throw this pitch hard in order for it to have any form of success looking at vertical break so in general you're going to see cutters be above the zero line otherwise we get into the whole argument about labeling them a slider and how our pitch is actually labeled but i think what we want to take away from this is you want to keep the vert around 10 or less I think that's a pretty good goal for most pitchers. Obviously, if it's a low three-quarter guy, that vertical break number might be a bit lower. If it's a guy from a super high slot and he's coming off of a 22-inch fastball, maybe his vertical break with it is a little bit higher um, on the cutter getting towards 10. So something to keep in mind there is just respect of their arsenal. We can talk about movement mirroring, the wheel theory, how those things project. But overall, just remembering that it's gonna be really hard for a high slot, high carry guy to kill a ton of vert on the cutter with good velocity. Uh, next, looking at horizontal break. So this is another one with velocity that really stands out to me in terms of setting the baseline parameters for what a cutter needs to be. Uh, really, you can see whiff rate go down when we're getting to the right of that zero line. Um, so to the right, in this case, think about a right-handed pitcher, cutters that don't get enough glove side movement, so they're backing up straight, etc. And you can see whiff rates going down a ton there and wobas going up. So essentially, what we've now set as the floor for a cutter is, we want to throw it as hard as possible and we want to get it to the zero line or further. Again, that's, that's kind of the baseline with the cutter uh, in terms of how much backspin it has or if you're creating depth on it. You know, really we can sway either way there and probably get some success, but overall the velocity backbone and getting it to the zero line horizontally are the two musts with that pitch. Looking at vertical approach angle, I think this is actually a pretty cool graph. Uh, with cutters we see overall on all of these graphs you can see the, the whiff rate and woba lines moving like crazy. Um, but with the approach angle, I like this graph just because it makes me think about the diversity of these cutter profiles. So you can see both from a flat perspective and from a steep perspective, we're getting a ton of whiffs on both. So I think you've seen in the game today, a lot of organizations utilizing cutters, especially to the opposite hand up in the zone, uh, especially with sinker ball guys being able to throw a pitch with backspin like a cutter that can get up and in on the opposite hand has been advantageous. Uh, on the other side, guys who can add some depth to the cutter, they're gonna get swing and misses down in the zone as well. But being able to see that this pitch can be utilized both up in the zone and down in the zone uh, should give you a lot of confidence in order to use that effectively. And again, it's a pitch where as long as that glove side movement, getting the zero line is there and the velocity is there, creates a lot of unique opportunity to utilize this in your arsenal. Uh, that's all we have on cutters. Thank you guys for watching and we'll see you in the next video.